session of the 19th Annual Leadership Conference of the Vocational Industrial Clubs of America will now come to order. In June 1983, over 6,000 people attended the National Conference of the Vocational Industrial Clubs of America in Louisville, Kentucky. During the opening general session, the 6,000 participants had the opportunity to listen to national figures talk about VICA and vocational education, specifically what they both mean to America's future. Astronaut General Charles M. Duke. In physical year 1982, the Air Force brought in 73,600 young people, and the majority attended our, uh, one of our technical schools, which are the finest in the world. Most of all the skills at Vicar are, can be useful directly in an Air Force career. And I congratulate each of you on what you're doing uh, as you uh, adhere to the principles of Vicar. For the first time, our conference was honored by a special appearance by the President of the United States. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States. for me to be with you today in Kentucky, a place the Indians once called the land of tomorrow. Well, this state and this arena of champions is a perfect setting for the Vocational Industrial Clubs of America to hold its annual National Leadership Conference and United States Skill Olympics. You represent this nature's future. You will shape, fit, mold, construct, and program a new century for America. And once you've done that, you'll tune it, alter it, repair it, and nurse it along so that it keeps running smoothly. America has no higher stake than in the quality of your education. Mr. President, we appreciate your appearance and your support here today. And we assure you that the 275,000 members of VICA are committed to promoting excellence in education and increasing American productivity. As you continue to lead our nation, we hope you will remember that the working men and women of America will always be this nation's greatest asset. We ask that you accept this token of our appreciation as a symbol of our willingness to work together. This hard hat should remind you that VICA members are America's new professionals, and under your leadership, we will keep America first. Thank you. With the official ribbon cutting, the eight leadership development events were underway. With the symbolic cutting of the ribbon, we open the leadership competition of the 1983 United States Skill Olympics. The events included prepared and extemporaneous speech, club business procedure, opening and closing ceremonies, outstanding club, safety, display, and job interview. Official voting delegates from every state association were charged with the task of electing their new national officers and proposing and reviewing constitutional changes. Like the opening general session, the second session proved to be another landmark event for VICA. Students from Valhalla, New York, BOCES VICA Club, signed the emblem ceremony. Tonight's session is a very special opportunity for us to meet those who have served as captains of industry. We have chosen a question and answer format for our national offices on your behalf can pose questions in line with our theme, America's New Professionals Making Us First. Let us welcome Mr. Martin Dean Walker, Executive Vice President, Rockwell International Corporation, Mr. Edward J. Campbell, 
who is the President and Chief Executive Officer of Newport News Shipbuilding. The third member of our panel tonight is the Staff Vice President of Industrial Affairs for the Sperry Corporation, Mr. Sid Brockman. White, Ned, and uh, Skip. I'm very impressed with this group, and I'm delighted that, to have this opportunity to participate. Mr. Walker, Mr. Campbell, Mr. Brockman, I would personally like to thank you and like to thank you on behalf of the 275,000 members of the Vocational Industrial Club of America for participating in our forum tonight. Later that evening, delegates and guests had a chance to relax or enjoy dancing to the music of live bands. By morning, the stage was set for the United States Skill Olympics. For two days, technical committees have worked in setting up each contest site, testing equipment, and the judges have been prepared to find the best carpentry, plumbing, or printing student in the country. It's difficult to realize the magnitude of the Olympics. It is hard to believe that all of this takes place in just one day. As soon as I was introduced to the vocational and industrial clubs of America, I became a fan. You've been in the vanguard of the effort to increase cooperation between educators and industry. Vicus Skill Olympics show how industry and educators can work together to improve the opportunities and productivity of America's workers. Some 245 major corporations, trade associations, and labor unions are pooling their resources to make this competition possible, donating time, equipment, training, and funding. This year alone, industry has contributed $7 million to the Skill Olympics, and that expense is like a green light that's beckoning you into the workforce. That money is not charity. It's an investment. It was spent to train workers in skills industry needs for today and tomorrow. When this day of excitement and competition was over, the evening became alive with the sound of Up With People. annual conference held the finale to a week's worth of excitement. VICA members installed their new national officers. Ladies and gentlemen, your 1983-84 national officers! Thank you. 
Conference adjourned.